Right, a quick video at Crowland. Found the place. There's Alberta parked over there. And Wolfioff's figure will be one of those up there. I just saw a small video. I didn't realise it had this massive graveyard as well. Anyway, this is the place founded, could be by Wolfioff and Judith de Lens. And um, his body at one point was brought here for burial. But quite often things were disturbed in the other centuries. Um, but I got a feeling that Wolfioff's figure is up there. What I've seen in the books, that is, is that, is that one there. Him. Now I'm seeing it for real now. My time's 25 great-grandfather, Earl of Huntington. Duke Huntington, or whatever you want to call him. He married Judith de Lenz, the niece of William the Conqueror. I know it always sounds weird, but it is true. I don't know if you can get inside the building or anything. But I think, if it's not that one, it might be the one, there's another one there, wait a minute, that looks like the drawing, that one there, there's another look, knight, looks similar, look at the lips though, and a fierce looking dog, I'm not quite sure which one it is, I'll have to remind myself, I'll, I'll, I'll take images of both of them, because it's one of those, there might even be another one round the corner yet. Ah, oh, yeah, look at all these lovely little figures. Carved into the stonework, look. I'm just doing a bit of video in now, in case it suddenly bombs down. Well, we got here within about an hour. Didn't take long. Now this looks like an altar scene here, doesn't it? I don't want it to ruin my day. I was thinking of going to Lincoln, you see. I put £20 worth of petrol in. I'm supposed to be going to hunting uh, Northampton tomorrow for the Simon St Liz visit. Right, I'm just going back over there. Just going to have a look. Inside, I'm videoing in case anyone comes along. This looks like an entrance. I don't know if it's open, it might be locked. Oh no, it's not locked. Oh, I say. I'll video in case anyone comes. Oh, I thought I saw a woman. All right. I'll get one of those books in a minute. Just put my umbrella down for a minute. I put my umbrella just down there. Right. This is Crowland Abbey, everyone. I'm going to video first. I'll 
do the video, then I'll come back. There's even a town trail, look. There's enough to do to keep me going here, I think. I'll come back and have a look at all that as well in a minute. It's just to show you what when you come in some places um, you never get anything it's a booklet all about the Abbey So look at that, there's a font there. There's one here, look. What I'll do, I'm going, because well, I'm here early, I'm going to do the video. It might be impossible if more and more people come in. I need my glasses on. St. Guthlack of Cro Croyland. The story of Croyland Abbey begins in 699 AD when a young man called Guthlack came to a lonely and demon haunted island amid the wild Fenland. He was born in 674, the son of an Anglo Saxon nobleman. He spent his youth in warfare until at the age of 24 he decided to devote his life to God. He was unhappy as a monk, Catholic sought solitary life as a hermit. He was told there was a remote island inhabited only by fierce demons. Anyway, at Croyland he built himself a hermitage chapel in an ancient burial mound. Wow. He was soon assailed by local demons who carried him off to the mouth of hell. There he was rescued by St. Bartholomew, who gave him a miraculous scourge to defend himself. Is that the scourge, the emblem? He performed many miracles, striving at evil spirits from the sick and dispensing good advice to local rulers like King Alphabald. He died in 70, 714 or 15 he, and his body was enshrined at Croyland. In 1066, it was the only monastery in Lincolnshire when the Doomsday Book was written. It already owned wide estates. In 
In the Middle Ages, Croyland became one of the largest and most important abbeys in Lincolnshire, with an immense cathedral-sized church and spacious monastic living quarters. Troublesome times. Various pictures and sketches. Now, um, it's now used as a church by the locals here. So this is where Wolfjolf, I'm not sure about Judith, um, whether Judith was, look at that though. This is nearly as, well this is as important as Dunmo was when I visited really, only this is much, much bigger. Maybe Dunmo was similar once. Let's see, people come, I've got to video and it's a bit rushed I'm afraid. It is a bit rushed. I like a candle for the family, for their health and well-being. And if um, Croyland Abbey. Like I said, I'm going to go around with doing photos in a minute. Here lieth the body of James Brown, late of Crowland, who departed this life October 25th, 1684. wonder if it's going to mention Wolfie off. It's big, isn't it? It's like a cathedral almost. And of course it, it was probably bigger than this. Oh, that's the Lord's Prayer up there. I haven't seen any mention of him so far, but he will be in the booklet for sure. Right, open it.